This is Gap, a very colorful alpine town with a distinct Provencal atmosphere. Right in the center of Gap, the beautiful restaurant, Le Patalin, specializes in regional food. The owner chef, Gérard Perrinet, carefully selects his ingredients from local producers. Alors Gabriel, je voulais te faire connaître le, le chevreau de barré sur méouge un petit producteur qui m'amène ça au mois de février jusqu'à mai, mai-juin, au moment de Pâques. Et en même temps, il me fait des, des fromages affinés, frais, un peu plus secs. Très très bon. Une spécialité aussi que je pratique l'été, une terrine de brousse au basilic, très frais, les clients adorent ça. Alors je l'accompagne avec des pointes d'asperges et du fumeton. C'est de l'agneau fumé dans notre région. Nous produisons du vin rouge et du vin blanc. Du vin rouge, cépage molar, et en blanc, du muscat. Alors nous sommes très fiers des alcools que nous produisons dans les Hautes-Alpes. Le mar de raisin puissant, aromatique pour l'eau de vie de poire, et parfumé pour l'eau de vie de pomme. It is in the stunning and fertile nearby valley of Chamsor that the Tourton, the most popular regional specialty, comes from. They are deep fried, tasty little pies, the shape of a pillow, filled with smashed potatoes and other savory or sweet foods. On the Provence side of Gap, almond trees are prolific, and the tasty nuts are slowly cooked with honey to produce an excellent nougat. Lambs graze in the fields of beautiful rich grass and produce top quality meat that can be sold directly by producers on market stalls. A raw saddle of lamb with herbs is a real treat from the north of Provence. First, I trim the excess fat from a deboned saddle of lamb. There is a certain magic about this dish, so it is good to have a friendly butcher that will debone the saddle of lamb very well for you. In a bowl, I place chopped parsley, tarragon and thyme, some breadcrumbs, chopped garlic and 50 grams of very soft butter and combine the lot. I season the meat with salt and pepper and spread the top with the herb mix. Next, I roll the roast up tightly, tie it together with kitchen string and lightly brown it in a roasting tray. Then I place three capsicums cut into bite-sized pieces and six whole cloves of garlic around the meat. The saddle takes about 40 minutes to cook in an oven at 180 degrees. It is a good idea to baste the meat a couple of times. After resting the meat for 10 minutes, I carve it into thick slices and serve it surrounded by the capsicum. A drizzle of olive oil adds a special touch. This sel d'agneau roti aux herbes is a delight. Tomorrow I am in the very charming alpine town of Embrun where I visit the most lively market.